Lewis and I'm the Associate Director that heads up our Midtest Office of Lewis Bramley. We're here today to talk about agricultural property relief. There have been lots of changes recently in the farming and agricultural sectors in the areas of subsidies to tenancies. This makes it more important than ever to ensure you have sound and meaningful advice. There have also been consultations starting in spring 2024 to review the current legislation and the interaction of inheritance tax and capital gains tax in this industry. It will need considering if anything resulting from this impacts on any previous CGT or IHT planning that you have undertaken. Here at Lewis Brownlee, we can undertake a review of your assets and activities to ensure you will qualify for valuable capital gains tax and inheritance tax reliefs and advise how you can mitigate any weaknesses in qualifying for such reliefs. Agricultural property relief is the first key relief available to this sector. I will now pass over to our tax manager, Lewis Bridgen, to explain this relief in more detail. APR relief is available to reduce your inheritance tax exposure. It is also available on gifts of land occupied for the purposes of agriculture together with appropriate buildings and farmhouses used in conjunction with the land. Agricultural property that qualifies for APR is land or pasture that is used to grow crops or to rear animals. It also includes growing crops, stud farms for breeding and rearing horses and grazing, trees that are planted and harvested at least every 10 years, land not currently being farmed under the habitat scheme, land not currently being farmed under the crop rotation scheme, the value of milk quota associated with the land, summer agricultural shares and securities, farm buildings, farm cottages and farmhouses. There are some agricultural property that does not qualify and these include farm equipment and machinery, derelict buildings, harvested crops, livestock and property subject to a building contract for sale. APR is due at 100% if the following apply. The person who owned the land farmed it themselves. The land was used by someone else on a short-term grazing licence. It was let on a tenancy that began on or after 1st of September 1995. A property owned before 10th of March 1981 would have qualified under Schedule 8 of the Finance Act 1975. That's if it had been transferred before that date. And then there is if the person had no right to vacant possession between 10th of March 1981 and the date of the current transfer. In any other case, the relief will be 50%. The property must have been owned and occupied for agricultural purposes immediately before its transfer for two years if occupied by the owner, a company controlled by them or their spouse or civil partner, and seven years if occupied by someone else. A practical application of this is that although you may qualify for agricultural property relief, if letting out the property, this will only apply if let for less than 24 months, or else it could fall to be classed as an investment. And as such, it would not qualify for the relief. Please note that this is a brief overview of the relief, and you will need to speak to an advisor to navigate this complex area to fully maximise this relief. Thank you for that, Lewis. An important planning point to note is that if the availability of agricultural property relief is in any doubt, you will want to ensure that you do then qualify for the relief of business property relief. This is covered in more detail in our next video. Here at Lewis Brownlee, we pride ourselves on being able to provide concise, understandable advice. We can decipher the legislation and deliver this to you in a clear, understandable fashion. Please do contact us if we can assist with your tax planning in this way.